Previously on Silk Stockings. I want to know what I'm wearing, what I'm doing right now. Who is this? Deborah? Chris? Yeah, Chris. Come on, it hasn't been that long. We're going to be working together. My partner's back. Hey, we're already shit. Okay? Rita's okay, Chris. She wasn't hit. The deputy DA handling my case said I walk my charges if I took you out. What's his name? It's a woman, man. Deborah Bouchard. I need you to love me. Christopher, don't you leave me. <laughs> Lorenzo Christopher. Don't quit on me, Chris. Don't quit on me. He's flatlining. We're losing him. Clear. Clear. Heartbeat. Welcome back. did a lot of damage to his upper chest and nicked his liver. There was a lot of internal bleeding. But he's hanging on. If he can just make it through the next few hours, he's got a good chance. Are you his wife? His partner. Has his family been notified? Mother's in Europe. His father's out of the state. We're all the family he's got. Well, if you leave me your phone numbers, I'll call you if there's any change. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere. I figured that. If you need anything, please have me paged. I'm Dr. Dupree. I thought I lost him, Kat. I really thought he was dead. Lots of truths in life that we hide in the closets of our minds. Important thoughts about birth, death, loss, hurt, anger. Most of the time, it's hard to hold those thoughts in focus, and then life picks you up by your ears and slams you to the ground. That's when I remember that this time, this life, is temporary, and I should clean out my closets more often. Morning, sunshine. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> if 
you ever do that to me again, I will kill you. You look like hell. Mm. Well, sleeping three nights in a chair will do that to you. I would hug you, but I don't want to pull out the IV. <laughs> three nights. But not all the time. Uh, yeah, kind of. Drugs had you even goofier than usual. I really hope you're not in the wrong room. She's your doctor. It's true. I was on ER duty the night you were brought in. I did your surgery. I hear doctor. I think Marcus Welby, but he'd look horrible in that dress. I'm Julian Dupree. Chris Lorenzo. But I guess, I guess you already know that. So how bad am I, Doc? Very bad. You said some very suggestive things to me while you were under Penethol. The nurses called you the dirty mouth kid. You asked most of them out. Any of them say yes? Did you say yes? You were shot with a 25 caliber slug that bounced around the inside of your chest like a ping pong ball. It nicked your liver and did some damage to your pectorals. I can't lift my right arm. That side was the most damaged. You had some deltoid involvement there. With physical therapy, you should recover full movement. Wait, should? <laughs> it's not good enough. I need it definitely. I'm a cop. I shoot right-handed. You're out of action for a while, Sergeant Lorenzo. How long? For as long as it takes, your recovery will depend on how committed you are. Give me a ballpark. Are we talking weeks or are we talking months? You should be home in a couple of weeks, back to work in four. But you won't be 100% for another month or two beyond that. Great. Just freaking terrific. We're not talking some flesh wound here, Christopher. You almost died. Oh, no, Mrs. Lips, look, I, I can't have another bite. My teeth are floating here. You can, and you will. This is good for you. <sighs> you know, homemade chicken soup like this does not grow on trees, my dear. Open up. Ready. Good, Ready. my baby. It's enough already. Yeah. OK, Rita. How am I supposed to work with a man who chews tobacco while he drives and he spits in a cup? OK, Rita. Consider yourself divorced again at the end of the week. <sighs> Thank you. So, how's Christopher? Franny is trying to drown him now, even as we speak. Mm. I gotta get back to you, Rita. Do me a favor, okay? Try to get along until the end of the week, please. I'll try. Okay, bye. Lorenzo, you gotta get better fast. This is her third divorce from new partners in Dr. 10 Dr. days. Do you see that? You have ruined her for all other men. Oh, hi, doctor. Doctor, did I ever tell you I was a nurse before Harry and I moved down here? I think you did, Mrs. Lipschitz. Now, as you probably know, I've been with him since his mommy went back to London. And frankly, I'm concerned about his bowels. Oh, whoops, that's it, friend. OK, that's it. Here's your pocketbook. We're out of here. OK, okay bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Doc, please get me out of here. Incidentally, I bought some Chinese herbs that ought to jumpstart that colon for you. Francis, <laughs> out. Out. Right. Uh, I'm being smothered in mothers. This won't take very long, and it won't hurt. Oh, I, I'm dying of hospital food poisoning. I need a cheeseburger. I'd do anything for a cheeseburger. Chart on the outside, pink on the inside, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, heavy on the mustard, grease soaking through the orange wax paper it's wrapped in. Yes. Were you me in a previous life? Can you make that happen for me, Doc? Starting tomorrow, I am discharging you. Wait. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the name of a good physical therapist, and I'm going to want you to see me in a couple weeks for a progress report. I'd like to see you again sooner than that. The AMA frowns on doctor-patient relationships. Different time, different circumstances. OK. What if I fired you as my doctor? <laughs> It's a little more complicated than that. I've got some people waiting for me. Best of luck with your physical therapy. And call me if you have any problems. My problem is that I can't call you. Don't push yourself too hard. Those muscles are very tender. They, uh, they need time to heal. I don't think I ever thanked you for saving my life. You just did. Damn it, I'm not helpless. I'm not helpless. Why you can do this? No, you can't do this. Uh, I'm helpless. Close your eyes if it makes it any easier. 
This is not what I dreamt this moment to be. You know, your therapist is gonna have you back up to speed before you know it. So then you might want to think about having someone come in and help no, you. No, uh, I don't need a nurse. Well, you need somebody, Chris, and I'm working. Yeah, that's right. You have a life, don't you? Sorry. Look, I'm tired, my shoulder hurts, and I'm basically feeling sorry for myself. I apologize, Sam. Okay. Okay. Look. Atticus is late. Why don't I drive you, okay? Uh, because your beeper's gone off three times in the last ten minutes. No, you go. Go. He'll, uh, he'll be here soon. Okay. No, maybe, maybe you can come by tonight. Uh, I gotta work at the outreach center. How about if I, uh, bring you some Chinese food over? How's that? You know, you're gonna burn yourself out. Working 12 hours oh, a day, no. then pulling nights at the runaway center? I haven't been able to sleep since you got shot, so I might as well make myself useful. Besides, I like it, Chris. It makes me feel like I'm making a difference for those kids. The best thing that ever happened to these kids. Your chariot awaits. Hey. Lovely, Rita. You are a vision. You're late, Atticus. Good luck with your therapy, okay? Yeah, thanks, Rita. Sorry I'm tardy, but beauty had a hissy fit. Projectile vomited coolant everywhere. Consolation prize. The finest in home entertainment for your view and pleasure. What is this, Atticus? You running pirate videos now? Ouch. Is that nice? Strictly legit. Yeah, since when is Jurassic spelled with a G? It's... Let's run along for beauty vapor lock, shall we? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man, this is gonna be just great. Some Teutonic she-beast named Marta getting off on making me scream. Ouch. Hi. You Chris? Yeah. I'm Marta. I didn't know if you were coming or not, so I grabbed a couple miles. Uh, sorry that we're late. No problem this time. I'll meet you inside. We'll work out. Dr. Dupree says you're pretty tough. Let's find out how tough you are. I do want to be next, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Alternate grow 40 pounds. You will again. Just one day at a time. You know, tough isn't how much you can do. It's staying with it when you can't do much. You know, this journey begins with baby steps. You try to run and you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, I realize it's late, but we can get a couple girls off the street tonight if you can help me out. Really? Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate this, Oscar. Okay, they'll be there. Bye-bye. All right, got a couple beds for you guys. It's a community center, you just ask for Oscar, okay? It's like some homeless shelter, right? Sorry, they were booked at the Ritz. You know, there is another answer, you guys, and you'd even have your own rooms. Right, I was talking about going home, Angel. I could call your parents, we could see if we could work something out. Forget it. There's no way I'm going back to Cincy. I'd rather be dead. What? You know, that is an option out there, Junie. I mean, the water's full of sharks. Anything's better than my old man. Thanks for the coffee, huh? Come on, let's book. You're really nice, Rita. No one's been nice to me in a long time. You come back and see me, okay? Sure. Come on, Angel, let's go. Bye. Yeah, night moves. This is Rita.
sir. Mr. Mar. Hey, hey, hey! What do you think, the bad guys are taking time out for a party? Uh, good morning to you too, Cap. Christopher, you're looking okay. How's the therapy going? Slow. Yeah, by the looks of this therapist, it's liable to take a while. You don't say. Hmm. Lorenzo, you dog. <laughs> uh-huh. Just the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty of paperwork around here to keep you busy until you're back up to speed. Good. Good. Good morning, campers. George! The phoenix rises from the ashes. Gee, you're sparkly this morning, Donovan. What'd you do, send somebody to the chair? Cute. This is for you, a little uh, token of my esteem. <laughs> well, you know, bedpans are so intimate and crutches seem so impersonal. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you got a little too much time on your hands, George. <laughs> is that a crack about my divorce? Look, I uh, better hustle, I'm due in court. We're gonna be spending a lot of time together. You've just been officially assigned to me to assist in uh, trial prep. Mm. Mm. No, I really am sorry about you and Andrea. Yeah, I got a shoulder to cry on if you need one, George. Thanks. I really got to run. Yeah, homicide, Sergeant Lance. Okay. All right, we're on it. Bye-bye. We've got a customer in a dumpster. Yeah, Lorenzo. We does not include D. Mm -mm. Sorry, partner. See you later. Yeah. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hey, congratulations on your promotion. Is this uh, your first DB flying solo? Yeah, Dr. Roth warned me there'd be days like this. Some sicko really went into overkill on this poor girl. Really? Late teens, maybe older. It's hard to tell she's been in there a while. Those bruises on her arms and breasts are distinctive. I'd guess pliers. By the ligature marks on her neck, I'd say she was strangled. So what are these, burns? Yeah. This was sexual torture. Mm-hmm. How soon can you get me a workout? I could have a prelim for you by two. This freak really likes his work, doesn't he? You okay? It's just too many damn animals in the jungle. We're outnumbered, and they're gaining ground every day. Here. You. Well, you had your last appointment with me last week. Yeah, I know. We talked about this. I need your help. I, I, I got a medical problem. Really? Absolutely. I can't stop thinking about you, and it's driving me crazy. Oh, brother. No, it's true. I can't get you off my mind. Now, the only way to cure this mental obsession is if you'll go out with me. That is the most original line I've heard yet. Well, thank you. Did it work? Sorry, Chris. Rules are rules. Rules are made to be broken. I like that you called me Chris. Uh, at least take these. I really shouldn't. Tell me you never want to see me again, Jillian. You won't. On the block, tap him again. Be patient, Tommy. Pigs rush to the trough. How long are we gonna wait? Not long. But not tonight. We have business. And never in pairs. Seek the loners, the ones separated from the rest of the herd. They won't be missed. movie gets to me every time, I swear. Uh, mm. no, this chicken salad is really good. You have to give me the recipe. I got it from the deli. I just put it on a plate to make it look good. <laughs> it's a lot better than what I make. Besides, I have not had the time lately. <sighs> Neither do I. Between job and kid, 
I'm lucky if I get a shower. Mm, now he's into street hockey. Really? So that means three practices a week and games on the weekend. See, now this would be a good time for a dad, you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, at least you have someone to come home to. I've got fish. Oh, at least I don't play after school sports. <laughs> Rita? Yes? Do I hear a biological clock ticking? <sighs> I'm not sure if it's going fast or slow. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I get older, I am not going to regret not having worked harder. But if I am still alone, ever since Chris got shot, I have felt like I was turned upside down. I mean, I'm starting to question a lot of the choices I've made. It's not like you're 100 years old. Come on, you're a young woman. You have plenty of time. Yeah, maybe. Well, you don't trust me. You trust me to pay you for every unit I don't return like I trust you to give me a full count. <laughs> Enough counting. Go. I've got a meeting. All right, but I've had complaints about the audio. What do they want for 9.98? Digital. Go. All right, baby, but you know, I got customer satisfaction. I got to be concerned. I... copies of this tape and send one to each and every name on the enclosed list. $5,000 now and an additional $5,000 when each and every name on that list confirms receipt. And then you will return the original to me upon delivery of the second payment. I can't wait to see it. Yes. Mr. Radovan, if I should hear of anyone not on that list viewing my work, I would never betray you. Please, believe that. I do. My trust is all in is keeping you alive, Mr. Radovan. I'm not going to they... tear anything. Because what are you trying to prove? I already know how tough you are. <sighs> Right? There's no telling. Maybe another month? I don't have another month. But what do you say we increase the workouts? Why, Chris? Why take a chance of hurting yourself? <sighs> Give yourself some time. I don't have time. I can't stand sitting on the sidelines watching everybody else play. Being a cop is more than what I do. It's who I am. You're pretty terrific, you know? You got more guts than anyone I know. Working with you the past few weeks have just been incredible for me. Are you, uh, are you seeing anyone? Not yet. But I'm working on it. I'm working.
working on it. Told me I could borrow the Beamer tonight. The mechanic said not to drive the car until he can check why the red light came on. It could cause major damage. You know what this is about? You don't trust me being well enough to drive your car. That's what this is about. Well, you've been driving for two weeks. Listen, I can't gamble with red lights, not when I'm facing a divorce settlement that could gut me like a catfish. George, I need this car. This is the most important date of my life. Uh -huh, oh, ho I like the sound of this. Who's the lucky girl? Uh, it's kind of personal, Fran. Oh, right, and I'm a stranger off the street, so tell me nothing fine. Me, who sat at your bedside and nursed you through your darkest hour. Sorry. Um... She's a doctor. I like it. That cute lady doctor from the hospital? Oh. No. The doctor from the shoe store. Boundaries, Franny. Boundaries. Does the man have to fence his in with razor wire? So long, honey. Bye, Doc. See you later. Yeah. Tell Rita we're ready. Come on. Yeah. Bye, friend. Bye. George, I... Oh. Hey, Rita. Hey. Cap wants you in his office. Briefing on the Jane Doe. Oh, great. Well, that shouldn't take long. I've got absolutely zip. I mean, I can't even make a positive ID on my victim. <sighs> the NCIC computer spit out five murders with similar MOs. The closest one to us was upstate New York. Four milk on him. Guy's a serial sure as hell. Let's just hope his first victim is his last. He moves on. That sounds like a new Quentin Tarantino movie, Homicidal Tourist or something. So, you need anything? I mean, we are still partners. Right, partner? Yeah. I miss you out there. Yeah, well, I miss you in here. Can I borrow your car? No. Uh -uh. No, I don't think so. I think you should just muck it out a bit tonight. Toss a pizza cart and soda cans. Just a thought. Have fun. <sighs> nice car. Carrera? Uh, Charger. Charger. Hey, why don't you get in on this side then? Other door sticks. It's the heat. Great car. It's a classic. I call it Rolling Thunder. I can see why. Go ahead, turn it over. I apologize, this is not quite the evening I planned. Reservations, history. I know a place not far from here. Let's call a cabin a tow truck. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. So how rich is this friendly as Tommy? I mean, why should we go to his place? We don't even know the dude. Yeah, we don't even know you. You could be a psycho or something. My man loves to party hard. The best booze, the best dope, all you want. He's got a chick there, gives massages, steam baths, a whole shot. Uh huh. Oh, you think I'm lying? Look at his car right here. <laughs> it's like out of one of those old movies. You wear one of those little chauffeur hats? Maybe I'll wear your panties. You ever felt a man inside silk? I don't think I want to. No, tease me, bitch! Come on. Play nice. You're a sick little monkey, man. Come on, Junie, let's not do this. Time to party! Woo! You're lost, princess. So your mother's a famous actress That's and your you. father a lawyer. How did you end up in honest work? Actually, my, uh, my folks split up when I was a kid. I stayed with my mom. But she was always off someplace shooting. And the older I got, the tougher it got pulling me out of school, sticking me with a nanny someplace while she was shooting. That drove me. I bet all your friends envied you. They probably thought you had the most exciting life, being in the movies and everything. Well, yeah, it was exciting. For about 20 minutes. No, I'm t I, I hated it. So I casually talked my mom into letting me move down to West Palm with my grandmother. Now, she was great. This lady had the ability to make you feel like you were the most important person in the whole world. So I went to public school, got to play with kids my own age, live a real life. To answer your question, my grandmother was always helping people. If you were in need, she was there for you. I guess some of that rubbed off on me. She'd be proud of the way you turned out. And I hope so. I hope so. 
I gotta tell you, my parents, they're not too thrilled. Cops don't rank high on their success scale, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You always want to be a doctor? I wanted to be a nurse. Marry a doctor. Oh. <laughs> of course, I was six at the time. So where's your rich friend, Tommy? I thought you said he'd be here. Oh, he's here. Been here all the time. He likes to watch. It's freaky. Quit showing, baby. Come on. Let's do it. Are you scared, baby? I can taste your heart pounding. Let go! Get off me! Who are you? I think she's ready. Silence. No more noise until the time of the change. Uh. That's when it has to perform. Go, bring it back. Anytime, just... Yeah, listen, uh, let me pass you over to Robert. He knows some people that might be able to help you out, okay? Yeah, okay. Hi, this is Rita. It's me, Judy. He tried to kill me. He was wearing a weird mask. You gotta help me. Wait a minute, Judy, just, just tell me where you are. I can get someone to you right away. Please talk to me. Judy, where are you? He's here. Oh, no, he's here. Who's trying to kill you, Junie? Just, just tell me where you are, okay, sweetheart? I can get someone right to you. Junie? Hello? Junie? Just, please, Junie, just tell me where you are. Seven, Roger, one, eight, six, seven, correct. Hey, can we just do this? <sighs> Rita, it's the same freak. Cigarette burns, plier marks, lacerations on the back. I bet we find black leather dye in the wounds, just like on our Jane Doe. He whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. Sorry. That was a little over the top, even for me. Damn it, this makes me sick. Oh. Hey, you okay? I know this girl. Her name is Junie. She was at the Runaway Center a couple of nights ago. Now, I warned her to get off the street, and she didn't listen. I don't know why she wouldn't listen. You know, maybe if I had leaned on her a little harder to go home... The shouldas and the wouldas will burn a hole right through your heart. Now, you warned her, right? It was her choice. Yeah, well, she was 17 years old. I want the son of a bitch who did this. I want him to know that she is not a piece of garbage to be thrown in the dumpster. She was a life. She mattered. Hey, Rita, hold up. Not now, okay? I uh, okay. My Jin Do killer just cut himself another notch. I heard. So you're down two zip. Game's not over yet. Yeah, yeah well, it is for Junie. You know, I had her in my hands the other night at the center. She slipped right through my fingers and into his. Not your fault. Yeah. Ugh. This animal is not going to stop until I get a loop around his neck and drag him down. Yeah, you need some help out there. Yeah? You got any ideas? Yeah, I do. No! We agreed you'd stay off the street until you were ready. I am ready, Cap. I'm telling you, Rita needs me. I know I'm not 100%. I'll bird dog four. I'll see what I can flush out. I'll do all the legwork. All right. Go ahead, go with her and keep her company. It'd be good for her morale. But you stay the hell out of the action, Lorenzo. I got no use for dead heroes in this department. Hey, uh, we ride double again, partner. Terrific. I mean, if you think you're ready, that's... Oh, hey, uh, if you're not cool with it, look, I just thought that you could use a hand. No, I am just fine with it, partner. Right. So you get anything off the box yet? 
Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Uh, uh, her full name was June Marie Dawson. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati PD listed her missing about 18 months ago. Yeah, if you want me to, I'll call her parents, let her know. Thanks. Actually, I feel like I owe her the call myself. From what she said, it sounded like he was abusing her, and I would like him to know that I know. Do I hear a little avenging angel vibe here? Yeah, whatever it takes, you know? Okay. So, you're the primary all the way. Uh, I'll do the legwork, I promise, Kat. Okay. So? So, uh, Junie had a friend that night. It seemed like they had been hanging for a while. Her name was Angel. Let's go find Angel. Lorenzo Palm Beach. Whoa, 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 Angel, Angel. Hi, it's me, Rita from Nightmares. You remember? Yeah, huh? you were nice to us. Right, you and Junie. Yeah, when was the last time you saw her? Don't worry about him. He's my partner. It's okay. The other night. You never said you were a cop. Well, it wasn't important, and it is now. Look, Angel, I need your help. When was the last time you saw her? She's dead. Yeah, I'm afraid so. She was the only one I had. Now I don't got nobody. Come here. It's okay. You've got me. Hmm. Try and remember, you said when he came in the bar, he took off his jacket, right? I don't know. I mean, I was really whacked, you know? Yeah. This guy looks like him, but, but he looks a little like him, too. So does, so does he. I just, I can't remember. Is there anything that stuck out in your mind about his tattoos? Uh, words, pictures? Shut your eyes, Angel. Now, I want you to try to visualize this guy's arm. Take your time. I'm sorry. It was dark in there. There was something on his neck, and his arms were covered with ink. That's it. Um, red, blue, green, really colorful, you know? You said he was driving a rich man's car, right? Right, like in the movies. An yeah. old one, but nice. Two-toned. Two-toned? What about... That one. That's it. The rules. NCIC computer just spit these out based on Angel's descriptions of his tattoos. The top three guys there look like the best possibles according to their last known locations. What's a float in the white trash parade like this doing at a Rolls? He told the girls it belonged to a friend and that he was going to take them to a party at the friend's mansion. Got a description of the car over the air, and all patrol units are advised to BOL. Wonderful. A Rolls and a town full of them. We start rattling these folks, every lawyer in Palm's going to be roused to the mayor's door. Well, we'll try and track down our three suspects. Maybe Angel can pick a winner out of the lineup. Mm. Where's the girl now? She's in the cafeteria. I've got someone with her. When she eats, I'll get her a place to stay and see if she won't tell us who her parents are. All right. But you keep her off the street. If you figured her as a link to the killer, so will he. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. I cannot believe I've lived here as long as I have, and I miss this place. It's tasty. Oh. <laughs> I got you some money. In the beginning, I was a little nervous about asking Jillian out. I mean, her being a doctor, me just being a cop, but she's down to earth. Just a cop? Is there suddenly something wrong with what we do? No, oh, come on, that's not what I said. Really? That's what it sounded like. Oh, wait a minute. Am I missing something here? You don't like her or what? No, it has nothing to do with her. It's you. I mean, you act like she's better than you or something because she has a couple of initials after her name. I thought you'd be happy for me. If you're happy, I'm happy. Well, I'm happy. Damn it. Well, then, so am I. Well, good. Good. <clears throat> Sergeant Lance. Good, okay. Thanks, we got it. Well, parole office just kicked out an address on our last possum. Let's hit it. Um, did I ever understand how your mind worked? Never did. 
captain said you stay on the sidelines. Uh-uh. No way this guy could be a serial killer. No way are you going in there alone. TV's still warm. Didn't miss him by much. I'm gonna go wait outside for a while, see if Mr. Kingston shows up. got done with Lance. Now I want to hear your side of what went down today. I almost got her killed. I shouldn't have been there. I should have insisted she wait for backup. I wasn't ready. She almost paid for it. Ah, uh, you made a mistake in judgment. It happens. No, when cops make mistakes like that, people die. I'm a liability out there, Cap. I'm not ready. I don't think I ever will be. I'm finished. Hey, hey, Lorenzo. Lorenzo! How'd it go? It's over. I'm out of here. What are you talking about? Look, I, let me just talk to the captain. All right? I can't we'll do this. this Christopher, you're not going to walk out on me. Look, there is a serial killer loose out there. Tommy was just a sidekick. You know that? Come on, Christopher, I need you. No, you know. No good to you anymore, Rita. Next week on Silk Stockings. Death was caused by strangulation. Multiple burns, lacerations, killed like all the other girls. I've been tracking this guy for six years. He's on another killing cycle. You know, if this guy Russell is correct, and we're dealing with a first-class wacko with a very high IQ. I will not let some tabloid book pusher insinuate himself into my investigation. I won't do it. I want you to say hi to Eric Russell. We've already met. He's an ex-cop, so the lines blur. Well, not for me. They live in your dreams, don't they? Yes. I envy you. Can I call you Rita? Not yet. You see that? All right, look at that. That uh, red light, that neon, it's coming through a window. I know where this is. No, I quit, remember? I'm not a cop anymore. You can't quit me! You're my partner! You want a date? I would be honored. Get around that truck! Code 1199, officer in trouble! <laughs> 